What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training. HQ! Today we'll talk about a very common problem and that's elbow pain in the low bar squat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple solutions here. The first one is to simply widen your grip width. And Paul Carter has a great video on this on how widening your grip width isn't necessarily going to alter your upper back tightness as a lot of people perceive it because you can keep the exact same upper back positioning and just move your hands out. Now my next suggestion is to simply use chalk. And as simple as this is, a lot of people don't do this and even I myself have been forgetting to do this lately this entire training cycle. And this also extends to the clothing that you're wearing. Sometimes people just squat in shirts that are too slick like Under Armour shirts and that's just not going to be ideal to squat in. Now my third point is to make sure that the bar is over the middle of your foot when you are in the starting position. And what's going to happen with this is you're going to most likely have to increase the amount of forward lean you have if you are someone who's trying to force being as upright as possible. And the reason being is obviously in a low bar squat the bar's resting lower, it's on your rear delts. So when you do try to force staying upright, then what can happen is the bar can be aligned more over your heels. So of course what this does is the bar won't literally slide off your back hopefully, but it will shift the pressure a little bit more back and onto your elbows rather than being more balanced and just letting yourself lean more forward and have the bar actually rest on the meat of your back. Now a side point to this is that there's something a lot of powerlifters do and that is they thrust their hips forward before squatting. And this is, you know, a lot of people I know are going to disagree with me on this point because powerlifters who are stronger than myself by a lot do this but I do not recommend it and I just don't like the idea of it, at least in theory. Because what it would do, for most people at least, unless if you shift your entire body forward significantly, is for most people it's just going to make you more vertical and then once again the bar is going to be lying more over your heels. And no matter what, you're going to have to lean forward in the bottom position to stay balanced. So to me it just doesn't make sense and I think that it can contribute to stress it on your elbows going to be another one that might be a little controversial because not all coaches agree on this but it is to intentionally extend your wrists and this is really only going to work if obviously you can tolerate this if this gives you pain then just don't do it not everybody does it and you don't have to do it but if you can tolerate it what I suggest you do is you use wrist wraps like that's why you see me use SPD wrist wraps on the squat because what this does is once again this just shifts some of the pressure away from your elbows and it can move it to the wrist wraps. And you'll see a lot of lifters use this style who do point their elbows down and keep their grip close to them from Andre Malenchev to Jesse Norris and I would say a ton of IPF guys in general do this have this slight extension in their wrist when they're setting up in the low bar squat. Even though some coaches, you know, like Ripito most notably, is against this idea as for neutral wrists, but it just it doesn't give you pain. Now the last point is also another aspect where there is disagreement on, and that is your elbow positioning. And there's the Ripito style where your elbows are up and back, and what this does, the advantage for it, is that it does form a very clear rear delt shelf to put the bar on, and then obviously that's going to put less stress on your elbows. However, there's also another style where you force your elbows down, and a lot of people do this to tighten up their lats. Chad Wesley Smith is probably one of the most known powerlifters who talks about this a lot, and uh, I would say the majority of IPF guys use this style, forcing their elbows down. Now, a lot of times the guys who point their elbows down to keep their lats tight claim that this helps avoid being pitched too far forward in the squat. Now, there's a, you could disagree you know, for days on this if that's actually true, or if it's just an indirect cause, most likely it's not a direct cause because even Olympic lifters do, some of them have their elbows flared out, but they still squat with a very vertical torso. But the point is, that's still going to affect you indirectly if you do feel more comfortable keeping your elbows down, keeping your lats tight, and you feel that that personally helps you stay more upright. So that's why I suggest as a last resort to then alter it and point your elbows back and up more. I don't suggest you go to that right away because I think that will probably have the most significant impact on just how comfortable you feel going into the bottom position while maintaining a rigid torso. A good compromise would be to consider unracking it with your elbows flare back more and then bringing your elbows down if you normally like it like that, but then just doing that before you actually initiate the squat. That way you don't have that stress on your elbows the entire time. 
Also, another benefit to doing this is that sometimes flaring your elbows back more helps you just find that rear delt shelf, and then once you find that placement, then you're fine. So then if you tuck your elbows from the start, sometimes it's harder to find the exact position. And that's the most basic point I have to all of this is that if you do put the bar too low on your back, sometimes that's just the cause of the problem. You're putting it actually below the rear delt shelf that you want to create for the low bar squat. So that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace. Biggie died, they shot a star. Who you know in West LA? Bring that ruckus to MA. Jeez.